chosen some pretty typical examples of cervical, thoracic, and lumbar vertebrae. I have them stacked. You can imagine each of my pointers here sort of representing the spinal column as it passes through the vertebral foramen. Of course, in you and I, when we have our vertebrae stacked on top of one another, uh, it's not bone on bone as you're seeing right here, okay? So you and I actually have intervertebral discs, which is what I'm setting up right here, that help to act as a cushion between the bones. And again, a lot of the day-to-day -day, um, jolting and moving and bumping around that we do with our backs um, and our entire bodies, actually, uh, these act as a sort of a shock absorber uh, to make sure that the bones aren't actually touching one another, okay? Um, you'll notice as I, as I separate these out here, you'll, you'll be able to see fairly quickly that there's quite a difference in size. What I mean by that is the, the cervical vertebrae, which is what I'm moving right now, the cervical vertebrae tend to be smaller in size. The, so that's these ones here. The thoracic vertebrae tend to be a little bit larger in size. The lumbar vertebrae obviously tend to be the biggest. Okay. In fact, when you look at the different parts of them, they're actually very similar. I'm going to go over each of the same parts. But one of the most obvious features is this right here. This is what we call the vertebral body. And if you look at them one at a time, the vertebral body of the cervical vertebrae is much smaller than that of the vertebral body of the thoracic vertebrae, which of course is much smaller than that of the lumbar vertebrae. Okay, so size-wise, it's pretty easy to tell which one is which. Okay. Um, when you're comparing one to the other. When you look at, the, at them individually, it's usually helpful to have a couple key, key points to look at or key, key structures to look at, okay? So let me go over some of the basics with you on each one of these. And the good news is, if you can, if you can sort of understand it on one of them, it's not terribly hard to recognize it on all of them. So let's look at a thoracic vertebrae. Let me just pick, pick this one here, okay? The way that I had these set up is you're looking at the posterior view on all of these, okay? In fact, when I had these stacked, okay, this is a posterior view, all right? Um, if I do it again here, when you feel, to give you a frame of reference, when you feel or palpate down the back of your own spine, and you feel the bump, bump, bump down your back, you're feeling along these spinous processes here. So again, this is the, the posterior side that I'm showing you on each of these. But if I, we look at one of them, okay, we'll take this one, pretty typical thoracic vertebrae, you'll see that it has some, 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 some key features here, okay? Um, this is the, what we call the vertebral body, okay? The vertebral body is what would face on the anterior side, okay? This spinous process would be on the posterior side, okay? So we'll start with vertebral body, and we move to this next structure. This is what we call the pedicle. Vertebral body, pedicle. This is referred to as the transverse process. Remember, the process is a projection or an outgrowth. Transverse, because it's going out to the side. And right here we have the lamina. And then from there we have the spinous process. So on one complete side we have vertebral body, pedicle, transverse process, lamina, spinous process. If you know it on this side, you automatically know it on the other side. Because continuing on, this is going to be, again, spinous process, lamina, transverse process, pedicle, and then back to the vertebral body, okay? That's actually the same as you would see on a lumbar vertebrae. Vertebral body, pedicle, transverse process, 
lamina, spinous process, lamina, transverse process, pedicle, back to the vertebral body. And we will see the same thing on a cervical vertebrae. So here we have vertebral body, pedicle, transverse process, lamina, spinous process, lamina, transverse process, pedicle, back to the vertebral body.